Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be revamping my lesson on the Beatles' 1965 classic, In My Life. I'm going to take you through that iconic intro, then I'm going to break down the chord progressions and strumming options for the verse and chorus sections. I got a full PDF study guide containing a chord sheet and tab and also chord diagrams at patreon.com slash lessons and I encourage you to become a member there to support the channel and also gain access to tons of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now I'm going to get started with a full demonstration of the tune for you to jam along with later. There are places I remember all my life Though some have changed, some forever Not for better, some have gone And some remain, all these places have their moments With lovers and friends, I still can recall some are dead and some are living In my life I've loved them all But of all these friends and lovers There is no one compares with you And these memories lose their meaning When I think That went before And I know I'll often stop and think about them In my life I love you more Okay, a close look at the fretboard and also my pick in hand. We're getting started with the intro section. We're in standard tuning, key of A major. Real slow, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so a very simple but very recognizable lick. I'm starting off with my index finger barred across the D, G, and B strings in an A major chord shape. Okay, I'm gonna start off plucking the A string and the B string together. Though sometimes I like to do a little sweep strum, dragging my thumb across those barred strings. Next, I'm gonna reach my pinky to the fifth fret high E string. All right, then on the third beat, I'm going to grab the second fret of the B string and hammer up to three as I pluck the open A string. Then the high E string open completes the first measure. All right, then in measure number two, we're gonna strike the high E string fourth fret and the low E string together. With a rhythm, one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, striking that low E string open to fill up the measure. Let's put all that together real slow. We'll repeat it. To get into the first verse. 
Okay, excellent work everybody. You have that iconic intro down, and now we're jumping into the verse section. Now follow along using your chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. The last page, I have a outline of the verse progression broken up into two sections, A section and the B section. Okay, demonstrating the A section of this verse. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. It's all the same. D, D minor, A. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so a pretty simple progression, but there are some rhythmic syncopations and different strumming options. Let's go over the chords first. We have A major for two beats. Transition into E major for two beats. Then an F sharp minor chord, bar in the second fret, thumb nice and low, setting up that minor shape. That's gonna be for two beats, but we're gonna jump into uh, a chord called A major slash G. Or A major with a G in the bass, just a hair early. We'll have that chord for two beats before switching to a really nice change. The D major, the four chord in this key, then transition into the minor four chord, D minor. And then back to A major chord for four beats. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that is repeated twice through. Okay, moving right along, if you have those chord changes down, then we're ready to jump into the strumming options. Very, very simple. For the A major chord and the E major chord, we're just going to strum. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Or one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, next, on the uh, F sharp minor, go into the A slash G chord, we're gonna play. One more time, I can do that a little better. All right, so down, up, slap, with my fingers falling right where I need them. Okay, thumb on the low E string, and then my index finger and my middle finger on the right hand here. On the, uh, the B string and the G string would be best. I can get a little of that D string on my upstroke. Okay, so. Very useful technique there. So, so far you have A, E, F sharp minor, and that A slash G. I might throw in a couple of extra strums as I go to the D major chord and go back to that first strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Then when I get to the A major chord, I'm gonna do one of two things. I could just go a pop strumming pattern. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or I could throw in a percussive hit in there. Down, scratch, up, up, down, up. I love throwing a little bit of percussion into my strumming patterns. You put all that together and we have A, E, down, up, slap, A slash G, and D, D minor, and A, I repeat that whole thing again. All right, to get myself to the B section of this verse. Okay, now taking a look at the B section of this verse. We're gonna have the F sharp minor chord for four beats. The D major chord for four beats. The G major chord for four beats and the A major chord for four beats. Then looking at line two of your B section, we're gonna have F sharp minor again, four beats, and then a surprise chord. This one is actually out of the key, but it sounds great in this song. A B major chord. All right, two ways that you can play this chord. Actually, I'm gonna use this version here and bar in the second fret, and then I can use my ring finger to bar across the D, G and B string, and never mind the high E string, that can be muted. Now you can also just take an A chord, up a whole step, and bar. 
another great way to create a B major chord. Okay, so so far you have the F sharp minor. One, two, three, four, D major. Two, three, four, G major. Two, three, to the A. Two, three, F sharp minor. One, two, three, four, B. Two, three, four. Then we're just gonna finish up this B section by playing the D minor chord, letting it ring for a measure, and then go into the A major chord for four beats. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that you have those changes, let's get a strumming pattern for the B section. Okay, so for my demonstration, I was playing something along these lines, starting with my F sharp minor chord. And that's that first line of that B section, and I'm just strumming down, up, dead, up, up, dead, up. Down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Really awesome pattern that you can apply to so many different songs. Down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Then for the next chord, I might relax that a little bit, put a little bit more space, and just do a pop strumming pattern, but with those percussive hits. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Back to the G chord and pattern one. Down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Then I'm back to the A major chord. Down. Up, chuck, up. Okay. Now, the trick to doing that percussive hit there is to relax the entire hand and strum through the strings completely dead. But if you can also punch the strings a little bit, you're kind of hitting them and then strumming through those dead strings in one motion. That gives you the opportunity to follow up with an upstroke. Okay, so that pattern one more time over F sharp minor. Over D major chord, pop strumming with the percussive hit. The G chord. And the A major chord. Go back to the F sharp minor, this is line two. Down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, B. Back to the A major chord, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Okay, for a nice percussive way to go through the B section of your verse. Okay, now let's apply everything we just learned to verse number one. One, two, three. There are places I remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever. and friends I still can recall some are dead and some are living in my life I've loved them all all right then you repeat that intro riff just one time to get yourself into verse number two which is going to be identical to verse number one Okay, very good everybody. We have the intro and we have the verse complete. That's really everything that you need to be able to perform this tune because it really doesn't have a chorus. This is just one of those really well-written songs that has its hook built into the verse. Okay, so it began with the intro, uh, then we went into the first verse, followed by the second verse. Then we have an instrumental section, which is just going to be the A section of the verse. Then we have the final verse, verse number three, which is going to be only the B section with a uh, slight variation to it. So it'll begin with the F sharp minor chord. Though I know I'll never lose affection. The G major chord. People and things that went before. The F sharp minor. I know I'll often stop and think about them. Let the D minor ring in my life. I love you more. All right, at that point, we're gonna repeat the intro riff. Go back to the D minor. In my life, I love you. 
and then right on more, he's gonna throw in the outro riff, which is going to be a variation to the intro riff. Okay, so that outro riff is gonna sound like this. Start from the D minor chord. In my life, I love you more. Okay, that outro riff one more time, real slow. And with the count, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one. Okay, so it began the exact same way, the A string and the B string together, grabbing the high E string fifth fret, using my ring finger to grab that string. All right, the A string and the B string together, hammering from two to three. The high E string open. Then we're going to have zero and four. But this time I'm gonna use my pinky to grab that note, because I'm gonna set up an E7 chord shape, literally my D7 up a whole step. Four, three, four. I'm gonna strum this chord. Go down to the second fret high E string with the index finger back to the fourth fret, so. Using my sweet picking. All right, once I've done that, I'm going to go back to the A major chord shape, grab the high E string fifth fret, and do a nice little sweep strum through to end the song. Okay, just dragging my thumb, and then hitting that high E string last. Just like that. Very good, everybody. Congratulations. You're ready to perform. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the Beatles in my life. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a song that you would like for me to teach next, click through the link in the description to swiftlessons.com and put in that request now. Big thanks to my patients for all the support. Hope you're enjoying your extra resources. Thanks to you guys. I've got many lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.